Alright, thanks for watching. And previously on That's So Payam, I gave a very nice consequence that tests if a system is consistent or not. That's what I call the rank criterion. And what does the rank criterion say? It says the following. It says that Ax equals b has a solution if and only if the rank of the augmented matrix equals to the rank of the original matrix. Okay. As I said, to, I proved this in another video, and now let me give you two very important consequences. First of all, it turns out using this, we can show another really useful criterion that you probably use, namely, Ax equals b is consistent for every b if and only if a has a pivot in every row. And as I said, I'm sure you use this a lot in elementary linear algebra courses, but uh, now we can prove this. So just as an illustration, suppose you row reduce this matrix 1, 2, 3, 2, 4, 7. And you know that uh, you row reduce it to 1, 2, 3, 0, 0, 1. Notice there's a pivot in every row of A. So already you can tell me no matter which B you choose, Ax equals B is always consistent. All right, and let me prove this. It's not, a, it's not too complicated if you know that criterion. So why? Look, first of all, forward direction. If A, let's say M by N, has a pivot in every row, then rank of A has to be M. For example, here we have a two by three matrix. There's a pivot in every row, so the rank is just equal to two in this case. Um, just equals to the number of pivot rows. But here's a point. If this matrix has rank two, if you add any other B, it'll still have rank two because kind of the rank is the minimum, is smaller than the minimum to the number of rows and the number of columns. So in particular, this matrix has maximal rank. So suppose A is M by N. Well, if you add any B here, it'll still have the same rank. So, but then, the augmented matrix which is of size m times n plus 1, also has a pivot in every row. Every row. So in particular, the rank of this bigger matrix, it's still m. a, b equals m. And by definition, it's also the rank of A. And therefore, the, mate, the rank of the augmented matrix is the rank of the original matrix. So by the rank criterion, we get that Ax equals B is always consistent. It's very neat, I like this. It's a nice illustration of the rank criteria. And the other point, the other direction is even easier because well, it doesn't really use the rank criterion, so I don't care much about that. But if Ax equals B is consistent for all B in Fn, what this means all, any B you pick in FM is in this range of, in the column space of A. Right? 
right? So for any B, FM, or RM, it's in the column space of A. So in particular, the column space of A, it's the whole space. It's all of FN. column space of A is all of Fm. So the rank of A, which I like to remind you, is the dimension of the column space of A. That's the dimension of Fm. And that's M. And in particular, what do we have to show? We have to show that A has a pivot in every row. But look, what that means is, if the rank of A is M, it means that the number of pivots of A Again, rank is the number of pivots, it equals to M, and that equals M was just the number of rows of A. So, because it's exactly a pivot in every pivot row or something, um, we have to have that a has a pivot in every row. Otherwise, there would be a row of zeros, and then the number of pivots would not be equal to the number of rows. So A has a pivot in every row. All right, therefore, AX equals B always consistent. It's the same thing as A has a pivot in every row. That's one thing. And then you may ask sort of what about inconsistency? Well, there's an equally nice criterion to show that the system is inconsistent. Let me state and prove that as well. Second consequence, AX equals B is inconsistent if and only if the last column of AB, of the augmented matrix, is a pivot column. So, for example, suppose you have a system 1, 1, 1, 1, and then 1, 0. So that is A, B. If you row reduce this, you get something like a 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, minus 1. Notice here the last column is a pivot column, so inconsistent. Or in other words, you've maybe seen, I've seen this in another term, namely, if one row of the, of the form 0, 0, 0, 0, and then something else, then the system is inconsistent, which is equivalent to saying the last column is a pivot column, just by the nature of pivots. And, okay, and the reason why this is true, it just follows from the rank theorem, and I'm improvising a little bit because I didn't have that on my notes, but look, AX equals B inconsistent, Well, that's equivalent by the rank criterion that the rank of AB is not equal to the rank of A. But look, this matrix is bigger than this matrix. So, or in other words, this matrix is kind of included in this matrix. So if the ranks are not equal, it means this is strictly bigger than this one. That's equivalent to the rank of A, B, it's strictly bigger than the rank of A. And the rank, in this case, to think of it as a number of pivots, pivots of A, B, it's strictly bigger than the number of pivots of A. And in particular, well, because there's a pivot in each pivot column, this is equivalent to the number of pivot columns of 
of AB. It's greater than the number of pivot columns. of A, but then look at AB, so see this is A and this is B, but the number of pivot columns of A isn't unchanged, so we now have a fixed number of pivot columns in A, so the only way that the number of pivot columns of AB is strictly bigger than the number of pivot columns of A, it's if the co pivot column of B is a so if the column of B, which is the last column of A, B, it's a pivot column. So if and only if A1, B is a pivot column. And it's equivalent, well, by this I mean that the matrix A, B has a pivot in the last column. This is neat, again, just a very nice application of this rank criterion, but you can do it other ways if you want, you know, if AX equals B is inconsistent, B is not in the column space of A, and that kind of forces the last column to be a pivot column. So there are many ways, and I hope you like this video, and if you want to see more math and more linear algebra, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.